Hey guys, it's Voy. Um, so recently there's been a conversation that surfaced regarding the NA LCS import rule uh, slash restrictions. And essentially, if you don't know what the import rule is, any NA LCS team can have a maximum of two international imports uh, slots taken up by players on the roster out of five. And the other three slots have to be either native NA talent or players, or, you know, if they're grandfathered in through the residency system, or if they're qualified through other means, then that counts too. Um, but yeah, basically, there's been a push apparently behind the scenes between the team owners um, to Riot Games, the NALCS team owners to Riot Games to try to get rid of the import restrictions and basically create, um, you know, a potential free-for-all where NALCS teams could sign anyone they want around the world, any roster, any unlimited, you know, combinations of players, which, you know, there's a lot to get into there. But the reason this kind of surfaced is because the conversations kind of became public and Travis Scafford did a really good job of asking every single team, you know, what, and their owners what their thoughts are. And there was a, a good video he posted um, basically showing all their answers. And it seemed by and large, all the NALCS teams essentially were very close to being on the same page. Some were more very strongly coming it forward, saying we we don't think there should be any restrictions at all, get rid of the import rule. Some people are saying it's more of a nuance, but you know, we're definitely leaning towards that direction and kind of different answers in between. It was a lot of, you know, non-answers and kind of dodging the question, I, I feel like. But um essentially what this means is that there's been a very big push and these conversations are ongoing and you know the team owners are pressuring Riot to remove the import rule and essentially allow NALCS teams to have any number of players from anywhere in the world and you know there's no need any anymore to have any players on a team you could have you know another LMQ situation where if you don't remember what happened with LMQ um, in you know season four when I was still playing on team curse LMQ came to NA they qualified for LCS well deserved um, and it was a five man roster, full Chinese team, Zhao Wei Zhao, Vasily, the boys, and um, they were they were good, right? They were a good team. They actually ended up beating us in the third place qualifier match to get to Worlds. So it was very close, you know, reverse sweep, the Akali pick memes, all that stuff. But, um, you know, if LMQ had never came to NA, there's probably a pretty good chance that us on Curse as the fourth place team would have gone to Worlds that year as the third best team in NA. Um, and after we lost, you know, Never, never blamed LMQ, never blamed the import rule or anything like that. It was more of a beat up of ourselves, right? Like we weren't good enough. We messed up here and there and, and we had all these flaws, but, and we weren't a world-class team at the time, but you know, that was just one instance. This import rule being removed could actually lead to, you know, a domino effect of more teams like LMQ happening. You know, NALCS teams suddenly have no need <clears throat> NALCS teams have suddenly no need to even field any NA players. What's to stop, a, you know, another full five-man roster from Korea or China or EU just to come in and, and take up an NALCS spot? And, you know, that's, in my opinion, it doesn't really feel like, you know, a North American league. And if you remember, when all these global regions and the leagues were made by Riot, they made LCS, they made, you know, LAC, um, EU LCS, um, LCK, LPL the minor and major regions. The point of all these regional leagues was to showcase the native talent. And sure, there's always gonna be opportunities to import players here and there. It's been done across the world in almost every league that you can think of, but there's never been a point where it's just like, okay, well now there's no rules and no longer do you need to have, you know, a team of, you know, X amount of Koreans or X amount of Chinese players or X amount of, you know, Native Americans on your regional league. Suddenly, the proposals that is being pushed by the NALCS owners um, very strongly, as you can tell by their answers and the conversations that are ongoing, is that they don't want to have any restrictions on the on 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 their rosters on the players. And you know, there's so many implications of something like this actually coming and becoming a rule. And the reason that this has to be talked about and the reason that, you know, people have to speak up and, and, and give their input is because if this actually goes through and, you know, Riot makes changes all the time, they just announce something and that goes into effect. If this goes through, what happens to our NA region? What happens to the players 
that are either currently pro, an academy, an amateur, trying to make it, or you know, an aspiring pro, what happens to the youngsters who are so good at the game, what happens to Repoba and General Sniper and these, these young kids that never got a chance to compete, aren't even old enough, but have dreams and have the skills and might want to one day show what they have on the world stage. What happens to the pipeline of NA dreams and, and talent and, and everyone that, you know, has hope to become good at the game and improve and try hard and study VODs and learn from the best and, and, and get to that point. If suddenly, you know, in a league where NALCS, let's be real, almost over half, I believe it's close to over half the players are, you know, from international and are, are some are imports, some are not, but it's not, it's not like, you know, it's not like NALCS is full of full NA players and full of NA teams already with this import rule in place. There's, it's so hard to get a spot on an NALCS roster. There's, there's, there's for every DeMonte and Cody Sun and, you know, a Blaze All that, that gets a chance to be on an NALCS roster. There's so many players that get passed by that never get the opportunities that's, that's, that, that play a few splits in Academy and then go back to, you know, being teamless. And there's just so many players out there that have these dreams that are working hard, that have the skills, but maybe have never been in the right environment to thrive and prosper and, and train and grow and develop, which is something that it's on the teams, right? Like any, any teams have historically been so bad, so bad at nurturing talent at growing at helping even our best players improve and, and compete at the world stage. There's so many, you know, systematic failures for our region that contribute to the reason that our teams perform poorly internationally. And to try to sum it all up, and say that, you know, oh, if we just remove the import rule and allow NA teams to, to field anyone they want with as many players they want, that's not going to suddenly make our NA teams better. You can't just import a whole team. You can't just put Faker in the mid lane for, you know, an NA team and expect, okay, now we're going to win worlds, right? Like, there's so much that has to be worked on and improved and tinkered with to try to find the solutions for how to make NALCS teams, you know, competitive at the world stage. And we're far from the answer, right? But we have to keep looking for solutions. But to try to suggest that removing the import rule, creating a free-for-all system in NA, removing the entire concept of NALCS and, and our own North American Regional League, shattering the hopes and dreams of so many wannabe players and pros and young kids who are just fans of League of Legends but maybe want to try hard and improve over the years and, and try to get there one day. To take all of that away in a system that is already so hard for our own talented players to make it and grow and be nurtured and, and make it in a position where they can compete at the world stage, to completely remove those chances even further and further and further there's no way that that is the correct solution. There's no way that that is the angle that we have to pursue. And the, the thing is, it's not even going to make a difference in the way that these team owners are, are trying to suggest it will. Removing the import rule is not going to make NALCS, you know, like that's not going to translate into us winning worlds. There's so much more that has to go into it. And that's an ongoing conversation that needs to be, you know, thought, thought about carefully and the solutions need to be analyzed. But from all from all perspectives that I can look at it and so many other people in the community and so many pros and anyone that should care about, you know, their own region's national league and the integrity of their, their own players' dreams being kept alive and having a chance to make it one day, you should be I mean, it's 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 not it's not it's not something that, that should go down. I, I I can't see any world in which this is good for the NA player base, NALCS and I feel like the only people that could benefit from this at the end of the day are really the team owners. So that's that's how I feel. Um, if you have a perspective or thoughts on this, I encourage you to share them. Even if you disagree, I think it's important that everyone get their voice out there because these are the conversations that need to happen now before these rules and these conversations are are are, are finalized and decided. And suddenly we we wake up in a world where, you know, Suddenly, there's zero native North American players in the LCS, and there, it's it's a reality that that could eventually happen if if we go down this road. So, that's not something that I think is healthy for the region, the players, the kids, the dreams, and I I, I would hate to I would hate to to see us go that way, man. I, I would really.
I don't think that's the way. So yeah, that's why.